Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' solar systems. So today we've got one system from the user Topic AL Official and their system is called the Epla system. So without further ado guys, let's hop straight into this. So let's go to the workshop, should already be installed for us, let's have a look, subscribed. Right, where are we? Okay, here it is, yeah, the Epla system. So let's see what they have prepared for us today right ooh very cool oh wow okay that goes out really far then right so i like the star in that disc like a dyson sphere kind of thing going on that's pretty cool right this is the eplos system which i had a lot of fun making so please enjoy it below is a list of the objects and some facts about them some may not make much sense but that doesn't matter only the visuals really matter here also unless you want the orbits to go crazy i recommend not pressing the play the system is home of a Type 2 civilization. Okay, so first up, Epla. It's a bright yellow G-type star that is used by the Eplarians to discover or to gather all the energy they need using the Dyson Swarm, which is obviously this uh, construct around the star here. Very cool. It only took four years to build. The date which it was completed has been since turned into a holiday. Okay, so the first of the planets. So that is this object here. Just an asteroid, a small comet that is close. Okay, cool. All right, what about this green one? The mining outpost of the system. Okay, materials of all sorts projected were mined here and transported around the system. Despite being small enough, it has really thick atmosphere, which doesn't let much of the light from inside get into space. It has zero moons. Let's have a little look at it uh, underneath. There it is. Okay, so a very mysterious, textureless world. Okay, cool. Right, so there's that. Okay. Right, next up we have got um, Horex. Look, Hall. I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to pronounce that. But then we've got this one here. Okay, so has Earth-like conditions. Has an interesting-looking moon as well. Planet of the um, Eplarians, and just like uh, Prenfic, it's smaller than Earth. However, its moon, uh, its moon, sorry, has been transferred to suit the inhabitants' needs. It's also hot enough at 41 degrees, making it rather different to other planets in the same area. Okay, so this is the uh, home world. Pretty cool. So it stats there. Yeah, 41 degrees. Very warm there. And here is the moon. Oh, oi. Let's go back to where we were. Clicked on that uh, asteroid there. So here's the moon. Okay, so let's look at this. Quite a funky colour, actually, on there. Okay. Is that, is that actually water or is it just... Oh, it is. Okay. No atmosphere on it, though. Interesting. Right, there we go. So there's that. Cool. So what's the EECS? Must be... Oh, energy collection. Okay. Nice. Cool. At 500 kilometers across is the largest single artificial structure made by the Aplarians. It's main energy collection station for the system. Okay. Right, next up, we got this planet. Okay, this got some pretty bizarre ring system going on here. Okay, so this gas giant. So, a portion of the planets in this system are rogue planets that were captured by Eplar. This is the first case. Um, it has a uh, green band and is one of the smaller gas giants in the system. It has two moons as well. It has uh, A and B satellites orbs in it. Oh yeah, I can see them. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nice. Ooh, oh, that's a nine. I keep clicking on the asteroids behind. All right. So the first of the moons is here. It's a pretty uh, barren looking yellow world there. Okay. And then next up we have at this planet. Or moon I should say. Okay. There it is. It's an interesting texture. What texture is that? Planet 13. Oh. Looks like a cool texture nonetheless. Alright. There we go. Cool. Okay, so then we have like another comet over here, by the looks of it. What is it, a comet? Yeah, it is, okay. Um, so we've got this one here. Neo Ferro, a navy gas giant that was renamed Zor 40 years ago. It has no artificial orbit, but it does have one moon, which has been terraformed. Okay, so here it is. Looking good. Alrighty. So there's that. So then there's that comet we just checked out. A comet orbiting in the middle of the system there. Right, now we're taking a really big jump to Soch over here. 
The fastest rotation of all the planets. It has uh, only 45 minutes. So that's a very fast rotator. Okay. Oh, well. It originally had a ring system and was named Rom Romatus, but after a close encounter with an object which is now gone, the ring system fell apart and just became a cloud of rocks. There are only soon particles remaining. It was originally a rogue planet. Okay. And it has a little pro water in it as well. Okay. Next up, we have got this one. 70 Roller... Roll rot, rolly rot. A planet similar to Uranus, but it's the smallest gas giant planet at only three times larger than Earth. And despite this, it has two moons, which have been ma which have man-made influence that has five satellites orbiting it. Okay, cool. Very dark out here as well. So we are pretty far from the start. I mean, you can barely see the colours here. I mean, so if you just look at the planet, how far away are we? F over fifty. Okay, so that's a lot. That's almost double Neptune. Then okay, that's really crazy distances there from a g-type star so yeah not much light going on here but there are the objects nonetheless and then there's all the uh satellites it's talking about cool there's the other moon as well yep okay cool right next up we got jide so that's a enormous jump out here it's a 305 au this is more like sedna we're starting to get into sedna territory here so there it is up there the location of Skyhook, although this planet has only been in the system for about 20,000 years, it has already captured the moon called 25 Gaff B. Along with this, it also has a location of a Skyhook, which orbits it every five hours, like some of the other rogues in the system. It was captured, rogue, or it was a rogue before being captured. Okay. That's pretty close, that Skyhook object. And then there's its moon it captured. Very, very cold out here, though. Not much going on at all. Right, so next up we've got Melorus over here. Largest planet in the system. The only planet um, the Aplarians haven't been within one billion kilometers of. It has one moon called Avel, which is still unexplored to this day. I mean, I'm not surprised. A thousand AU. That's a uh, pretty ridiculous unknown object. But we can't see it. Oh, it's like the monolith. Yeah, look. Ah, oh, it's one of those. One of those weird objects, yeah. Well, the spacecraft thing, I think that one's called, isn't it? There's the lone gas giant, very, very far out. And there's one moon. Obviously in complete darkness. Okay, but we still have more. Next up we got a uh, glass surfer, an ice-covered object. So over even further out, so over 0.1 light years away. So if you put that into AU, 6,600. So this is just, this is like Oort cloud distance here. So what is going on here? It's got a very, very bizarre orbit going on with this outward exploration. So what is this? An ice-covered object, also the stop for a space probe with a hundred people on board. The Aplarians plan to begin conquering the outer system. I'm not sure you'd want to colonize this. I mean, there's no sun, there's no sunlight. So, okay. So there's that probe heading towards it there. The exploration. Okay, interesting. Right, and then next up we have got this, which is over a light year away. The furthest object in the system has got a huge ring system around it as well. Taken over 30 million years to complete an orbit. It was also a rogue planet originally, but it was ejected from its host star before ending up here. That's all you need to know. Have fun exploring. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. So there we go. All right, so these are ridiculously far away. And where is our parent star? Let's just try and turn it all off and try and actually spot it. Because it's looking pretty uh, pretty dull. Okay, is that it there? Oh, it's somewhere over there. There's ring... Oh, they're just ring particles. Oh, where is it then? Ah, let's just turn off the rings just so we can try and spot it at least so where are we i can't i don't have a clue where the parent star is is that over there no we're just in this is just deep space okay where actually is it so labels on oh god where actually is it i don't even know where it orbits oh there's no way we were spotting that very easy. Look, so it's down, the parent star is down there, so literally nothing. You can barely even spot that in the night sky. <laughs> oh, my God. But there we are. So that does it for this system of the very, very far away planet. So one light year <laughs> for orbital period. Let's put that in regular years. There you go. Look at that. That's a lot of years. 
That's a very long time. But yeah, there we are. So with that all said and done, that does it for this system. Let's just get the lineup of every object here. So that's probably the first time some of these have seen daylight in a long time. But there we go. So there is the full system. So what do you guys think of that? A very nice little system, actually. So yeah, a massive thank you to the user topic al official for sending this system in and yeah guys if you enjoyed that make sure to press that like button subscribe for more help us on the journey to 30,000 subscribers as we're just under or we're also just under the 1000 mark i believe now so you're yeah, getting ridiculously close i really really appreciate all your support and wow we 30k we were getting so close it's so cool i really really appreciate it guys yeah it means the world absolutely amazing and i'm glad you guys continue to come back to watch every video really really awesome stuff but yeah that all said and done again a massive thank you to topic al official for sending their system in and yeah with that all said and done guys take care stay safe out there and i will see you in the next video goodbye